Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, really quick, I just want to do a short news update video for you. Specifically, everything's really JP side oriented. I think we have one or two things on the global side. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, JP, we have a whole bunch of new Christmas campaigns that are going on. Global side has not been released. It's technically the winter campaign on global, but either way, uh, we still have something going on for it. We have a lot of cool stuff coming, especially the one that I was actually talking about last night on my live stream that I'm super hyped about. Uh, so, first off, we have login bonuses daily. We have the Holy Dragon Carnival. Two SSR Santa Roshis with each multi, with each multi summon. So, if you guys don't know, last Christmas they introduced a new Elder Kai type card, the Santa Roshi. It comes around for Christmas time. I still have one in my box just for collective purposes. But essentially, Santa Roshi is the Elder Kai, uh, or is like an Elder Kai, where he increases the super attack of any unit in game by one. So that's awesome. If you like Master Roshi, this is a really cool card. I really like the card. It's really phenomenal. So uh, we don't know. I don't know who's going to be on the Holy Dragon Carnival, but uh, I do have the news up over here on the JP side. And it looks like it might be the select Dokkan Fest, like guaranteed three, like three guaranteed SSRs, uh, three multi summons with one guaranteed SSR in each one. That's probably what that is. Um, I'm kind of spoiling some of the other news that's over here that's translated from the Reddit. Uh, we have the Super Select Dokkan with the Blue Dragon Stone. So we are getting a Blue Dragon Stone. We are getting a Red Dragon Stone. The Blue Dragon Stone is going to be purchasable. Uh, if you want to go ahead and buy, I think it's probably going to be the Dragon Stone Pack. If you buy the Dragon Stone Pack, you'll be able to get the Blue Dragon Stone and you should be able to get any of the 70% leaders. That's how it worked last time. The Red Stone is any of the OG leaders. So if you're missing any of those leaders, I will probably do another video on that just to give an update on the order of which you should get them. Um, let's see, we are getting the one that I wanted last night in my live stream, the SSR Tapion, that I'm so happy about. I don't know if it's going to be a summonable unit or not, it may, might be a summonable unit, and then you have a new story event where you get the Flute of Tapion items, um, and you'll probably get some other things, maybe Hildegrand, um, or however the heck you say his name, I think it's Hildegrand, uh, maybe Hildoken Waking, because he did, what he did, we did grab him from the uh i think it was one of the uh like a, a pow evil power strike back event i believe it was you can grab him there so maybe he'll doken awaken from this event. we'll have to find out um and we'll, maybe we'll just get a new one i don't know we'll see but we're, it looks like we're going to be getting a tapion which i'm really happy about tapion's a really cool character uh number six story event where you get oh no sorry number seven the tree of might story event returns which is cool if you want to get your turles uh up to super attack 10 and let me tell you when during the, doing that grind you will be able to get a whole bunch of fruit of the tree of might medals you can really, really get a lot of Baba Points doing that. It's a really great way to farm Baba Points. Uh, Galactic Crisis Story Event Missions Return. So that is for the Bojacks. You can get those medals to Doken Awaken your Bojacks if you want to. Great way to farm up your two Bojacks or the three Bojacks. However many Bojacks there are. I think there's three in game right now. Uh, you can go ahead and Doken Awaken those guys to full power Bojacks. Beat them into, I think it's just the Agility and the Strength one. And I think the Technique one's actually base for them. But Doken Awaken them anyway. Get them up to Super Deck 10. Um, number nine, fight 10 billion Power Warrior story event returns, which is the core event. They have not done anything with that event since it's been released, so it's kind of just garbage or farm it for the Dragonstones. If you've already done that, don't worry about it. And there's going to be a Dragonstone sale, so uh, pretty awesome. I'm really happy about that. Uh, looks like we have a whole bunch. This is actually the uh, in-game news of what it looks like. Uh, Hildegrand, look at that. Look at that. Ah, uh, that looks so awesome. Oh my god, I can't wait for that. Uh, there's the Tapion also, so it looks like the Tapion is going to be part of some event. Looks like we have a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. It doesn't look like one that I've seen before. Let me know in the comments below, because it doesn't look it doesn't remind me of the agility ones at all, because the agility ones are like him with his open mouth. Um, and then you have the strength one. The strength one doesn't look like him either. So we might be getting a new Goku. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see what, what, see what happens. It might be a Super Saiyan 3 Goku related to that, which would be cool because the Super Saiyan Bardock event just came out. Um, but Hildegrand, phenomenal. Um, then that's all the other garbage stuff that's here. Uh, and look at that. Oh, look, it's Krillin and Goku. Um, docking battle. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, so Tapion's gonna be here. That's, that's so awesome. I love it. Uh, but let's jump on to the next one. Although, look, this is the banner that he's actually gonna be on with the Santa Roshi. Uh, Alright, cool. Uh, where are we? Alright, Jeff the Japan News Bully. Uh, Red Dragonstone number three for Christmas. Okay, we already talked about that. Global side, we have the Strength Banner up and live. So if you guys were wondering about that, Strength Banner is there. I will be doing a full review tomorrow about it because I have stuff to do today, so I won't be able to get it done. Um, but I will be doing a full review of that. Um, let me put it like this. If you don't have LR Broly and you have both Janemba and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, or if Super Saiyan 4 Goku is your favorite team, then definitely pull on the banner because you because Kaba is the super strength support unit, primarily set for him. And 
hit is the super extreme support unit. So he's going to really do really well on a Janemba. Uh, and you get two Elder Kai's per multi summon. So go ahead and do that if you want. And LR Broly is on the back. Um, Japanese 22nd World Tournament is live again as of eight hours ago. So you can go ahead and start grinding that out if you wish, wish to do so. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, the orb system has been made alive. So that's awesome. I'm really happy about that. Global, you need to get that. It's in version 3.8.2. I don't know what version Global's up to. But Global, you need to get this damn system. I literally, no, I was actually upset because the night before the information about this was released, I went and spent like an hour and a half getting my guys duped up, just like literally after pulling the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, um, I went through everything and got all my Super Saiyan 3s that I wanted to, uh, maxed out in the dupe system, and I sat there for an hour and a half watching TV, just going through the damn dupe systems for all the different units, and then they released this like a week later. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm a little bit salty about that, but whatever, I'm just glad it's been fixed. So hopefully that comes out into the global side really soon. But uh, yeah, guys, that's a quick news update. If I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below. When more news comes, I'll definitely be doing news releases, so make sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys down in the comments below. Peace.